We are living in a world where data has become ubiquitous. However, a significant population in Nepal still falls far behind when it comes to accessing, using and deriving meaningful information from data. Bridging this gap is the need of this hour, especially as the country makes its historic transition to a federal structure. Federalism has brought decision-making closer to people while amplifying the need for data and the capacity to use it for evidence-based decisions. To support federalism by enabling data-driven decisions and policy-making while propelling data sharing and using capacity of the wider population, the World Bank is working with various partners with the support from DFID Nepal. The Nepal Data Literacy Program, launched in mid-2019, trained 80 professionals from diverse sectors so they can proactively engage in evidence-based policy-making and increase data literacy of Nepalis. I mean, let's say about data, say, how much data is there? Data, how much is there? I mean, how much open source for the data is there? Tell the analysis, how much is there? Or tell the interpret, how much is there? So, I mean, let's say data analysis is there. It's very important. To further help create an environment to use data, the Asia Foundation and the World Bank organized a two-day solvathon, bringing together data scientists, programmers, developers, researchers, and professionals with diverse backgrounds to work collaboratively on open-source data-driven projects to tackle development challenges. We need to invest in capacity of people of Nepal to use data so they, they can make better decisions, they can understand the limitations of data, they can monitor and track progress on objectives both in the public sector and private sector. While these programs are initial steps, they are helping create the first ripples of a new wave of data literacy in the country. Within the first five months of the Nepal Data Literacy Program, the participants had trained over 100 people within their communities or organizations. Young data enthusiasts from Solvathon are in the meantime working to tackle issues such as air pollution, women's access to finance and tourism. We try to build a Viber bot, it's a messenger bot that sends air quality references in the human language to users and then prompts them to use appropriate measures to tackle it and also follows up on if we, they actually did so. After the training, uh, starting from how to start the new Google page to how to actually analyze the data and present it in a really, you know, like vibrant form, that was really a transformation for me. So I think after the training, now I really feel myself confident. <laughs> The data movement has already begun in Nepal and efforts need to be directed to sustain its momentum. Realizing Nepal's federal and development goals requires a stronger and responsive data ecosystem that supports effective policy design to accelerate progress. This is no ordinary task. However, it can be made easier if done together. Start your journey to become data literate at dataliteracy.github.io.